Hello everybody and welcome to the playthrough for Expert Division in the Festive Cup Tournament. This video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Let's go! Before I take my first shot, do not forget to check down in the video description down below to get the direct timestamps for the specific holes in this playthrough. If you do not want to watch hole number one, yeah sure, don't watch hole number one, but watch the rest then, or another one, just press on the timestamp there. Check out patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy as well to get the updated text guides uh, when the tournament has started so you get pinpointed uh, advice on how to play the holes in the tournament to improve your score and maybe get that banner that you're looking for. So, we're going to start with playing with our long iron here. We're going to use the bunker and the rough there as a reference. You can see there I'm going to go first I'm mixing a little bit with a spin. I'm going to decide to do five bars of side spin to the right with one bar of back spin. Having the blue ring halfway through the rough on the right as you can see then we're going to adjust for medium distance plus 10%. Medium distance plus 10% for that shot. We hit it perfect. You can see there as well that I had some slight, slight curl to the right, which I'm going to take away for the next time. Getting it very, very close on hole in one. And that's something that will drop for many of you if you're playing in that way. Uh, hole number one is, is uh, it's not a, tough one it's more like can we get the hole in one or a safe birdie hole number two look at the landing position now max top spin six bars as you can see as much side spin to the left as possible using the yellow ring as a reference here having that one close to the rough there on the left you can see the ball guy is pointing to the right but that is something that we're going to compensate when it comes to the curl medium distance with with 10 percent extra Look at the curl now, I'm having the ball just outside the adjustment ring to the left. You can see a bounce there with a side spin, with a curl coming in very nicely in that third pocket there on the right and have no problem to reach for the green in two. Hole number two is otherwise going to be a very tough par four. And some of the times, you go, uh, some of the times your opponent or yourself is going to not get that lucky or <coughs> or uh, not lucky but i would say like um uh, the bad bounce or lucky bounce it's it's going to in that case be uh, uh be something that we need to be aware of the be the thing that we do want is to get the ball to fire away then we're going to be okay you can see our opponent is going to go for a hook shot I don't blame him for doing that i just think like with a new setup of curl that the hook shot here could go a little bit, oh, I cross our fingers. But it's coming in very nicely here. We're going to bounce forward here very nicely. So good shot from our opponent. Gets into the rough. So most likely the shot is, the, the ball is going to bounce into the rough. But you can see that how many, how much that actually got when it comes to that shot. I like this approach though. I really do. Uh, and I think like again the hook shot is there if you want to and you can see the reference here on this video as well to see how it actually went. Now I'm going to adjust uh, for this shot for being in maximum distance of our club with nothing extra for elevation. I'm going to go with 5 bars of side spin to the left and I'm going to go with uh, one bar of back spin. You can see here now I'm not using enough side spin to the left. So I'm using three bars of side spin and forget about that to, that I'm not going to aim that much to the right. So it's a poorly second shot, but at least safe birdie. So hole number three, let's go for it, guys. If you do have the club, and that is the Thor Sammer level five plus, the Apocalypse level five plus, and you also have a power five ball, then it's time for us to go for it. We need to try, the worst case scenario, going to aim up into the rough over the bunker. And then we're still going to reach for the third shot. But if we're doing this drive well, we might going to roll through the rough and go over to the fairway and then go up and make an eagle. I do adjust my rings for 10% extra with my driver in max distance. 
make a max overpower shot with no curl to the right or to the left side spin to the right as much as possible combined with as much top spin as possible with my shot now i roll through the rough some of the times this ball will not roll through the rough as the first bound in the rough is going bounce in the rough it's definitely going to kind of decide if the ball is going to roll out or not but the important part go for it because the clubs that we club that we are having is having enough top spin and that's the key for hole number three Our opponent's going to do the same, and the Thor's hammer level six. Sure, you do have, uh, sure you have eight yards, eight uh, eight yards less of distance than for the Apocalypse level six and the Thor's hammer level six. But the top spin on the Thor's hammer level six is better than the Apocalypse there. So this is going to be a decent drive as well. But you can see here, look at the bounce here. It basically just dies. And that's the risk that we do take taking it taking that route. But our opponent should have no problem whatsoever to reach uh, to play up and then reach for the green for the third shot. Okay, second shot. Now we need to uh, subtract our adjustment here a little bit. We need to play it five, sorry, ten percent uphill as this shot is uphill. Then we're going to adjust, so we're going to bounce on the fairway just after the rough of the bunker before the other part of rough of the bunker just before the green. I'm using max side spin to the left. No top spin. No back spin. Then we're going to adjust max and numbers, which is going to give myself 6.1, 6 6.2. Hit it perfect. And the thing that I want here is to just get myself up to the green and take the back of the green and fall back down for a potential albatross. Boom! Yes, it's possible to make an albatross on hole and number three, but it's going to be very tough and of course a little bit luck there. But good shot and we're taking alb albatross for hole number three. Have in mind, if you don't have the drive, then don't. Then you need to play safe. Then don't try to do anything special. But if you do have the drive and the power five ball, let's go for it. Two and a half bar top spin. We're going to aim, so we have two squares to the right side of the pin. And then we're going to adjust this shot for being in medium distance plus 10%. No side spin whatsoever. Two and a half bar top spin. Look at the ball now. Coming up and then roll and get it very, 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 very close. Get it very, very close. And that is a shot that I do believe that I'm going to drop as something. Sure, you can put a tiny, tiny bit of side spin to the right there to just compensate for uh, for it. Uh, but in the end, that shot is definitely going to work per beautifully for you. Sure, our opponent's going with the Guardian there with max backspin approach. And be, be a bit like cautious about how you play this one in headwind. Because if you play this shot in headwind with a wood club, with that much backspin, you really need to think about how many bars of backspin you're actually using. So you're not doing like our opponent is doing now and will fall back down. Having a, not a hard wedge, but at least having a wedge instead uh, instead of a pot is definitely going to, definitely not going to be preferred. Hole number five. And this is actually in in the other version when I played this whole on stream, I uh, I did drop this one, which was uh, uh, nicely and something that I'm definitely going to uh, bring with me. Now uh, I'm not going to drop it on this one, but I'm going to be close. I'm going to show you and and also tell you the adjustment for both the drive and also the second shot here. First and foremost, we're going to play this one with a power three ball and with um with an X my level eight. The reason I'm playing with extra my level 8, because it mirrors more what players has as a distance with a driver, 236 yards with extra my level 8. And that's better to play with than playing with an apocalypse level 6, for example. Okay, we're going to play as our opponent did, but we're going to play it slightly different. Max distance of our club. I'm going to play three bars of top spin. And four bars of side spin to the right. Look at the landing position, just like 
on top of the bunker perfectly aligned you can see that the ball is aimed as four bouncing into the rough over the bunker and uh, bou uh, yeah, bouncing in the rough over the bunker but that's no problem as the impact that we're going to get like the extended ball guideline that we're going that we're going to get with the tailwind is going to help us get over there nicely look at this one we can almost go with two bars of backspin here but comes in beautifully and this opportunity is an opportunity that we need to play well So uh, here with this approach I do highly suggest that you play on the fairway before and that is going to be the easiest way to dial this one in. So uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, be a sub! If you're watching on Twitch hit the follow button on top of the stream. Thank you so much for watching this video. Our opponent hits it perfect, going to miss left. Um, good shot, but uh, yeah, good good estimator when it comes to the to the spin there. But going to miss it slightly left. We could see that it's slightly over adjusted, and we're going to do something similar here. So first and foremost, you can see me trying to find out: am I in minimum distance or am I medium distance? The thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to be in minimum slash medium distance. As you can see the ball guideline using one bar of topspin aiming straight at the pin that's a slightly wrong half a bar of topspin aim slightly left of the pin to compensate for the push that we're going to get from the bounce. Here I'm playing this one 2.4 I'm going to miss this one right and coming in a little bit too hot. You can see coming in slightly right and coming in a little bit too hot. So half a bar uh, top spin combined with the ball guide lies slightly left of the pin. Then it's going to be there. I played that one on stream after I made this recording for the playthrough and dropped it. <laughs> <coughs> okay, hole number six. Four bars of top spin, three bars of side spin to the right. We are going to be in a plus a yard, a plus four yard mark with a kingmaker. And that's going to be the same as for being with a tight end story. Five bars and four bars of side spin. Five bars. Five bars. Plus four yards with a power three ball with the extra mile level eight. But the thing that you're looking for is that you're going to have, look at the landing position, blue ring just outside there in the rocks. And then the, out, the red ring just outside completely. Slightly, slightly left curl to just, like baby curl, to just compensate for that the wind is going to push us to the right. You can see here that we could almost stay away from that curl because this shot went fairly well anyway, guys. And the thing is here in Expert is that this wind is easier than it is on any other division. Why is that, you may wonder. It's because we're going to have straight tailwind. You can see of the, oh, it's like there. We have straight tailwind towards the green and that is going to be easier to go directly uh, before the bunker to bounce over there 20 percent extra important to go with with a drive so we add 20 percent extra to our adjustment and as you can see five bars top spin three bars side spin to the right slight 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 curl to the left to just compensate and that is going to help us if we first say going to hit great on the right side there will be opponents and you might going to want to play straight forward to the right and go full overpower. Go for it if you feel confident with it, but I value more in a teaching perspective to show a way that we don't have to overpower our shot with a drive. Now I'm going to aim straight towards the pin, three bars of backspin. This is going to be a very tough shot to drop but it's definitely going to be possible. You can see I'm stretching it out and from this position now I'm going to adjust my rings and I'm going to put myself just in overpower mode so I'm going to want to be with this one like 4.7, 4.8 rings. Slight, slight, slight overpower. Hit it perfect. 
the light pole there is actually uh, not in play. To be, uh, I was afraid for that for the beginning. Coming up high, and we roll. Get in. Coming in very close there to the pin, and we secure the eagle. This is not going to be a general albatross hole. So just make sure in that case that you are putting yourself in a good way on green or either very close to the green so you can secure the eagle. Max topspin here, which is six bars. And of course, if you do have five bars or four bars, then go with uh, that adjustment instead. As much side spin as possible. Look at the ball guideline here. We're having the red ring, just uh, half of the red ring inside the rough on the left. And then we have the ball guideline just pointing, so we're going to miss the bunker there on the left, which is good, of course. Now we're going to play 10% extra combined with being in max distance of our club. We hit it perfect without any curl, uh, any curl to the left or to the right. We bounce it over and we roll very nicely here down to the fairway. And now when we reach this distance for our drive, then we're going to play with the, either a long iron in max distance or a wood club in the minimum distance. And I do suggest that you do play with the Goliath here because if you play with a Saturn or a backbone, the difference from maximum distance with a long iron and minimum distance with your wood club might be in a position where the bunker is going to be very much in play. Okay. Our opponent gets, oh no, gets into the rough. Shouldn't be a problem to reach from there though. Getting into that piece of rough is not going to be anything that you need to be alarmed about. You, you can see here, I'm having the Goliath and you can see I'm already in plus two yard, uh, plus two, plus three yard. So I'm going to go with one bar of the top spin and then I'm going to add three bars of side spin to the right. You can see I'm going to aim slightly to the right of the pin to just compensate for the push that we are going to have to the left from the wind. Now I'm going to play this one from max distance of my club with no elevation adjustment. So just going to play it as it is, 4.6 rings. Hit it perfect. And you can see here that the ball is going to come in very, very nice speed, not too hot and not too slow, slightly left, so we need to either use one bar more side spin or we need to compensate a little bit more to the right. But otherwise, good opportunity for the eagle. Hole number eight, the guardian hole. And now we're going to have some tailwind. First and foremost, we need to have in mind that we're going to play this shot 10% extra. Very important as well is that you uh, if you can, play with the ball that gives you the most wind resistance. And what I mean with that is that a Kingmaker, for an example, has wind resistance 3. And here the Spider Ball is having wind resistance 4. You can see how much difference uh, the wind is getting there. And the reason we want to do that is is because we're going to have an extended ball guideline with the tailwind and the higher tailwind we have the more extended the ball guideline is going to be so you can see here i'm having a kingmaker here going to use the guardian level eight and you're going to use the guardian no matter what level you have the guardian in do not play with the sniper as our opponent did the thing that we do want to do here now is that we do want to have the blue ring just inside not down into the bunker that i'm having here I want to have the blue ring just on top of the rough there. You can see I'm adjusting down into minimum distance of my club. So I'm going to let the ball be in minimum distance, a slightly under power. But the thing that I want to do here is that I do not want to under power because I'm going to come in a bit short. So again, I would prefer to play this ball with a more wind resistant ball so you don't have to find yourself in between clubs. But that underpowered situation, take away that because that's a slight mistake from my end. So just play it as it is, then we would be gaining enough distance to come up and fall back to the pin. Now hole number nine, look at the landing position here. I'm going to use the red ring just by the rough on the right. Play 
plus 10 yards with a kingmaker max side spin three bars top spin not more than that max distance adjustment plus five percent you can see him having the ball just being touching like the inner circle edge of the adjustment ring get it to bounce oh yes take the rough there no problem we're still going to get to uh, the fairway there on top the only thing that we do want to do though is that we need to take away a little bit of the curl so the best way would actually to play just with the ball just with the ball being like halfway through to the right and instead of having the whole whole side there to the right and just take away half a ball more to the left so you're having a little bit less curl then that shot's going to be spot on don't use more topspin please because that is going to give you uh, a risk of going into the rough or in the sand on top but from that fairway now we're going to have an opportunity for the albatross for sure and again too bad i'm not uh, going have that in a good recording for the playthrough that I actually dropped the albatross with this adjustment here or not maybe with this adjustment but with a similar adjustment at least this is uh, nonetheless be going to be uh, or like however is going to be a good opportunity here i'm going to play this one with the uh, four bars of a backspin you can see i'm playing with three and a half so i would go with four bars now i'm having one bar side spin to the right so the initial adjustment here that i would go with is that it would be go with four bars of a backspin five bars of side spin to the right that's what i did when i do the drop the albatross aim one square to the right of the pin and then we're going to have to adjust for sniper in this position in max distance look at here now i'm putting up the landing position target with one ring the reason i'm doing that is because when we drop down into a lower surface we're going to get a lower trajectory and therefore we need to compensate for that so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this playthrough and if you do have any questions please let me know in the comment section below do not forget to hit the thumbs up button please the video here is sponsored by golf clash and playdemic good luck in expert division in the festive cup tournament